Hello everyone, and thank you for watching this video. It's currently Arctic Dragon Mama and Shokoki here, going to be streaming some Darksiders, War Master Edition. Cause Hello everyone! Just cause Bro is not having a good day with his migraine. We're going to start a new game and we're going to see how this goes. So, what level do you think we should do? I mean, easy is never a fun idea for a stream. <laughs> it has to be at least normal, because if you play easy, you're just breezing through the game, no challenge, and who wants to watch that? That is true, so should we do normal Depending, or apocalyptic? That depends on your personal skill level. If you feel up to it, <laughs> go ahead. Well, I've done it on normal before, but I have not done it on apocalyptic. <laughs> Just know that I will laugh at you if you fail. I expect you to laugh at me if I fail if I were playing it on easy as well. I mean... I laugh at my girlfriend when she fails at games <laughs> at easiest difficulty. Yep. So, which do you think would be more amusing? Watch me do this on normal or apocalyptic? I love to see failure. Apocalyptic it is. Yes! <laughs> I'm gonna die very often. Since the dawn of time, the armies of heaven and hell have waged an endless war. Drawn to the conflict was the Chard Council, an entity bound by ancient laws to preserve order and balance. It held that any great power, unchecked, threatened the very fabric of the universe. In time, heaven and hell came to honor the Council and its laws, for none were beyond the swift and terrible justice and forces, a fearsome brotherhood known as the Four Horsemen. Amid the turmoil, the first humans emerged. The Council foretold that these weak but cunning creatures would someday be integral to the balance. Thus, a third kingdom was named, the Kingdom of Man. By order of the Council, a truce was forged between heaven and hell. The great pact was bound by seven seals to be broken at the appointed time, when man's kingdom stood ready for the end war. A battle that would bring balance and determine the ultimate fate of the three kingdoms. Here's my favorite cutscene. I mean, the premise of the game is really interesting. It is. It's a really fun game series. Yeah. I mean, you get to play as war. Oh, yeah. Come on, move it! Nevada is safe. Hey! <laughs> it doesn't say what about Germany. <laughs> I think Germany's gone.
trapped themselves. You know, there's one series that this game, or rather this game series, always reminds me of. What's that? Devil May Cry. Oh yeah, I've heard of it. I haven't seen much gameplay, but I have heard of it. Oh, Devil May Cry is such a classic. I mean, some people, some people describe uh, Dark Siders as a mix between Devil May Cry and The Legend of Zelda. Yeah, I heard that for the first one. Okay, time to fight. At least for the first one, that is absolutely true because uh, the way you fight in this game, it's very similar to Devil May Cry. Oh yeah? Yes. And this dungeon crawling that you also do, that is, that is basically the, the Zelda element. Yeah. yeah I've heard that the uh, first Dark Souls seems to actually fall more closely in line with, uh, what was it, God of War? Yeah, there are also similarities to that. Oh, do I need to seriously but... pull this the whole, whole time? Fine, I'll use the chaos board. <laughs> if you ask me, the God of War series, while not a bad game, is kinda not something that I enjoy. Would you say it's kind of mid? Like I said, it's not a bad game series. It's simply not my style. Oh yeah, sure. And I think that's a fair opinion to have. And you can't you can't deny that the God of War series is good because oh, yeah. just look at how successful it is. Also, there's a simple fact that aren't that there are not many God of War games on PC and I absolutely refuse to buy a console just for a small number of games that I probably like to play. That's why I watch people play it on YouTube. I mean otherwise I would have bought a Switch already to play Shin Megami Tensei 5. Which I'm absolutely not doing. Either it comes to PC or I'm not playing it. Hey, swinging around that huge ass sword. Yeah, that's fun. Okay, that car alarm is starting to annoy me. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! What is happening? No, don't take my lives! I need them! Yes. Yes. Steal all the little power! Little demons be like mm, delicious human meat. Hey, the angel was fighting me. If he didn't want to die, he would have left me alone. Is 
This might be from me watching Neon Genesis Evangelion, but I don't see any harm in killing angels. <laughs> I don't see the harm either. I mean, look how much health they took away from me already. Where was I? Oh, that's where I was supposed to go. Then again, I played a number of different games where the angels were the bad one. Bayonetta, for example. And if you ask yourself, what is Bayonetta? They had, oh, I've heard of that game. I haven't played it, but I have heard of it. Bayonetta is basically also Devil May Cry, but with a female protagonist and lots of fan service. So how is he not getting... And okay. <laughs> electrocuted with that. Honestly, good question. I mean, you saw that there was. It power was a on live that. wire, yes. <laughs> when it snapped, you could see the sparks, so there was definitely power running through that cable. Well, I mean, if you think about it, this guy does have a. He does have one complete full metal arm. Yeah, so. exactly. And was that, what does metal do with electricity? It amplifies it. But that doesn't mean that there's not any leather like underneath to act as a circuit breaker. Either that or he just doesn't feel any pain. Or maybe he just doesn't care. Maybe he is a soldier. Then again, birds. <laughs> Birds can sit on electric wires. Think about it. Maybe he's bird. Hot bird. Well, if I remember right, they call the angels birds. And he's in a sense part angel, so... I do think that one of my favorite parts about is that this game is how you can just beat the ever-living crap out of demons just with a chair. Yeah, you can destroy quite a lot of stuff in this game. I'm not busy playing other games, I might take up this series again as well. Yeah. But currently I'm... I'm busy with all the Persona streaming. And a few other games. Roll the card! I'm trying to remember how to throw the card. <laughs> this is usually what ends up happening. No. I heard tonight's dinner is poetry. I'm just going to take this with me. Sure. Was it right click to throw? I wouldn't know, I play with Pagola. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. Can you put the car down there? Or do that? Oh, uh, here we go!
this guy. Nom nom nom. Like I said, poultry for dinner. Oh yeah. Impossible. Abaddon. What is this? Where are my brothers? This cannot be the, the final seal. My lord! How did this happen? The seventh seal was not broken! Then why are they fighting on Earth? What in heaven's name have you done? I answer the call. So now it's confirmed. War does not text. This guy. A friendly, trustworthy face. Oh, yeah. Oh, come on now. Come on now. Come on, don't tell me you don't have a middle mouse button. <laughs> I do, but for whatever reason. There we go. I really have to slam, to slam down on it. Do not have a controller. I couldn't imagine playing a game like this without a controller. Well. Sorry, that was bad.
Cyclops. That was a crappy move. <laughs> the law has been broken. And so have you, Horseman. <laughs> Well, that was just fun. The law is clear. When the seventh seal is broken, four horsemen shall ride forth to punish the wicked. Be they sons of men, lords of heaven, or the dregs of hell. All upon the earth will be judged, and the bad forged anew. You forget your post, horsemen! You forget the law! No call was given, yet the destroyer marched, and there you were found, under his black banner, if the claims are true. To hell with your claims! The seals were broken! I was summoned! Then where are the other horsemen? Were they not summoned as well? The Seven Seals are hidden, as they have been since the pack was forged eons ago. All of them intact. There was no call. He raided the Dark Ones, broke a sacred covenant that has doomed mankind, and threatened the balance. Do you deny it? When I rode, heaven and hell were already at war. Abaddon was there. He knew something. Abaddon fell, fighting off the chaos you unleashed. I fought powerless against the demons, and still you accuse me. Your defeat proves nothing. Likely the Destroyer cast you aside when he was finished with you. You have defiled the law, Horseman. You will be punished. I serve only the Council, only the Balance, as the Horsemen always have. Send me back. I will punish the ones responsible. How? What hope do you have against the Destroyer's armies? You are powerless. Then I will fail, and the Demons will have carried out your sentence. Very well. You will return to the Earth. But you will be watched. Come forth. <laughs> yeah, the most annoying entity in the game. Remember that, or I will really get under your skin. I like the sarcasm, but that's its only redeeming quality. Enough! Rise, war, and arm yourself. <laughs> Sword. Oh yeah. It literally has part of his soul in it. Yeah, but just like War himself, the sword the is stripped of power. Will be your currency. Some enemies are more easily bought than killed. Well. Bit 
Dark Souls. The Council confers with demons now, does it? Since the truce was broken, some demons have fallen from the Destroyer's favor. Volgrim is one such outcast. He has long sought an audience with us. How long have I been here? <laughs> Oh, this looks lovely. Think so? Oh yeah, it's just absolutely gorgeous. Yes. <sighs> looks like our trajectory was a little off. Not so fast, horseman. <sighs> Let's lay down a few ground rules. Until this is over, you're a dog on a leash. I say bark, you bark. And if I have to kick you, you'd better not bear your teeth. Understand? Or should I teach you to play dead? If that was Dante he would try to boss around, Dante from Devil May Cry, the Watcher would be gone already. Oh yeah. I don't want to talk to the Watcher. Yeah. Most He's annoying fine. entity in the game. This looks very lively. Looks like he found Here the last comes of us. The welcome party. Yep, seems so. War. Why don't you introduce yourself? Well, let the bodies hit the floor, I guess. Get some HP out of it. Only to immediately lose it again. Yeah. If I just press E and basically do a one-shot kill, that's where I get the most health. If I just kill them the normal way, I get more wrath and uh, souls. You know, right now, you probably need health more than anything else. Yeah. Considering we're playing the highest difficulty. Oh no! Not this thing. Oh, thank god I don't have to actually fight him. Over here. Yes, I know to get there. Follow the enemies. Yes, I know this word. Obvious tutorial is obvious. Glad 
I wasn't under that. I think that's not going up anytime soon. Oh, was I supposed to go Wait, up? Wait, where is it? I think it got destroyed. I think I'm supposed to go up. Am I? Yeah, no kidding. Yeah. Oh yeah, I was supposed to go up. Well, there's one that looks very similar where I'm actually supposed to go down. Oh boy, not that thing, not that thing, not that thing, not that thing, not that thing! Not that thing. Yeah, for enemies like that, you usually have a gun to go and run. Uh-oh. It'll be a while until we get a gun in this game. Oh no, when the guns come out, uh... I have more problems when I have to start using the guns in this game. Oh, and he's going to blow up. Come back here. Give me help. Your turn. Oh yeah, that wasn't all of them. Say, that wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Again, you haven't fought any bad enemies yet. Uh, don't remind me. <laughs> oh, I'm supposed to press R. I should top off my health. Yeah. Oh. Alright. And that's where we're going to leave uh, today's video for now. Hope you guys like, share, subscribe. Follow for more all the icons so you're aware when the next video comes. This is Arctic Dragon Mama Ar Arctic Dragon Mama and Shigoki. Hope to see you guys for the next video. Bye!